Hi, this is Mark Burley here again, and I'm going to show you how to use Dragon with Microsoft Word. Open Microsoft Word. So what I'm going to do here is just give you a brief outline of some of the basic punctuation commands and other commands that you can use in Microsoft Word. Hello, my name is Mark, comma, and I am here today to tell you again about the wonders of using Dragon Naturally Speaking software. Full stop. As you can see, comma, the accuracy of Dragon is quite impressive. Full stop. Now in this particular instance, I've introduced you to the punctuations of comma, full stop. So if you just say comma, full stop, Dragon will understand you. And input a comma, character, or full stop, as opposed to the word. In terms of a new line, you need to say the command new line. So, new line. I have now jumped onto a new line and undo. I have now jumped onto a new line. Now in that particular instance it recognized the word new line as a command as opposed to a word. So in that particular instance what you do is you just leave just a little pause between the word new and line so that Dragon would recognize it as a word you want to say as opposed to uh, a command. New paragraph. Some of the other benefits of using this software would include colon, numbering, undo, new line, numbering, it is three times faster than typing. Select it. Choose one. Full stop. In this particular instance, I've used Dragon to create a numbering list. Now how I would do this is, here's a little trick. Inside Microsoft Word 2010, if you go to the top and if you hover over the button to create numbers, you would see the name of it, which is numbering. And if you just simply say numbering, it will create numbers. Now this is for Dragon 11. I understand for Dragon 12, the command to say numbering is slightly different. So just be aware of that. And it's the same principle again for any other aspect of the ribbon. So if I want to do bullets, I say bullets new line. Some of the other benefits of using this would be in the form of writing up essays and assignments, etc, etc. I'm now going to use change my numbering to my bullets. Bullets. And that is basically an overview of some of the basic tasks of using Microsoft Word. If you wanted to change a certain part of the sentence, let's assume I wanted to change, as you can see, you just simply say the following command. Select as you can see, and it gives me options as to what other language I'd like to use in place of as you can see. Now, if I'm not happy with the options, what I would simply do is just, sim if I am happy with the option, I just say choose whatever it is. Choose four, choose five, choose six. If I'm not happy with the suggestion options, I can say spell that, and I can incorporate my own particular word or phrase. Or, thirdly, what I can do is, I could just simply directly dictate over that highlighted uh, sentence. This is just a test. And that's basically that. Um, so that's the end of my tutorial for Microsoft Word. And thank you for watching.